Happy birthday, Duffs. You're now 14 years old. It is the law of this land to hold the sword and go to battle when a boy turns 14. What is this? Um, I haven't seen this game beyond like the first couple of, uh, beyond like this as I was setting up controls. The Age of Darkness without light. That sounds, that seems redundant. Creatures who wander the, okay, hold, no, wait. Bah, 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 This started up too fast. Let's, let's try that again. <clears throat> the Age of Darkness without light. <clears throat> Creatures who wandered this world were later called monsters by humans. They were feared by everyone. No one knows where, when, or how these creatures came to be. Have they been here since the start of humanity? Or were they here since the start of time? Who's to say? The Genesis is trying. Time passes. One day there was a change in the world. Okay. A great beam of light struck the earth and diffused through the darkness, filling the earth <laughs> with light and destiny. Most of the monsters had no resistance to light and quickly perished. Oh, a seemingly endless period of time passed. You've hit us with like two different time jumps in a very short period of time. I love a world filled with destiny. Humanity had evolved and dominated the Earth's surface. Much to the detriment of the world. Okay. But... Monsters did not become extinct. They hit underground and increased their numbers. As if they were waiting for the moment of restoration. Our story begins when the monsters reappear and the inevitable conflict between man and monsters and zoos. Like, are they just animals? It seems like they're just animals. I don't know, Teller. This doesn't sound at, like Undertale so much as it sounds like Pilot Wings. Well, I guess we'll hit the start button or push the start button. Catchy little ten second. That, that's a that's a catchy little ten second loop. <laughs> I'm trying to think about 
a situation where someone would say that. And yeah, you know what? I may have just piloted that. Oh! We gotta name a thing. We... Alright, listen. I know this game's from Japan. And this is a... This is a hiragana, katakana thing that fit in these boxes better. But I'm irrationally upset about how these letters fit into these boxes. Just immediately, just immediately angry. Even the lowercase, like, you can't see shit! Why is it li I mean, I know why it's like this. The J doesn't even fit in the box. <sighs> I shouldn't be surprised. Have y'all seen the font on the actual, on the actual, like, box of this game? Or at, at the title screen? Like, it's all weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cheeky. Well, I have a lot of letters. I have enough letters to call this punch girl with a space. But I have a feeling we'll be swinging a sword the entire time, so I won't do that. I could just go with TW. But I have a feeling people are going to be using my name when they talk to me. So something that rolls off the tongue a little easier than that will be good. I got it. Dubs. Cause like, the, cause like, there's there's time wander, and then like it shortens to like TW, but because W is a three, like because W takes three syllables to say, it actually isn't shorter to say than time wander. So people shorten it to T Dubs, and I'm just gonna go a step further than that, and go Dubs. Fuck it. And now the moment you've been waiting for a birthday party. This is the weirdest way to introduce a birthday party. Birthday party for Dubs, thank you for being here today. Happy birthday, Dubs, you're now 14 years old and must leave the house on a life-changing adventure with this real ass sword and shield. This is the sword your father used. He was very strong and kind, but he is dead now. Oh God, I was kidding. Lost his life in battle. I really don't want to hand this sword to you, my 14 year old son. But it is the law, the law. It is the law of this land to hold the sword and go to battle when a boy turns 14. What is this? Imagine being 14 and having your mom invite all of your friends over for your birthday so they can eat a cake and she throws you out of the house with a sword. Wait. That's literally all the explanation we get about that? Oh, this control's weird. Why is there momentum? Oh. You know, 
the sword swinging is like the only thing I really I, I clicked around on some footage of this before I started playing it because Tom presented it to me. Hi, Tom, by the way, um, and was like, hey, do you want to play this? And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? And I was like, yeah, this looks inoffensive enough. And then I saw the sword swing and I was like, oh, that looks goofy. Something about that looks very wrong. It feels more wrong than it looks. Oh, that's fun. The sword swing button is also the interact button. Well, it's a sad tale, but try to honor your father's intent. Well, I want a sword too. I can't wait till I hit the big one four. The big one four is not a thing. It, it feels like an axe swing, yes. I have a sword too. Not a rusty one like that, it's brand Oh, you invited the... Mom, why did you invite Pokey? Happy birthday, Dubs, that's a beautiful sword. Okay, well I apparently enjoy my cake Mom says I have to... What? Fireworks, is someone leaving today? It's the day Brave Amon leaves. Let's go see him. Don't forget to give me a send off too when my turn to go. This feels dark. Becoming a hero is not an easy task. You'll never become one if you don't train yourself at Rafflesi, re you know, that word shows up in like a zillion different JRPGs, but I don't think I've ever seen it out. I, I don't think I've ever heard it said out loud. Is it Rafflesia? Anyway, the training ground. Come on, hurry. I like Amon. I like all strong heroes. Report your birthday to the king! So that he will know that you are now battle ready and can be added to the draft rolls. The cake's still there. I will absolutely love it if the cake stays there for the entire game. But we know that can't happen because we're 14 and we just received a sword and that means my village is going to burn down. Okay, oh. okay, listen. This wasn't a dated reference when this came out. It wasn't as dated as Ted Woolsey doing the three Dream Stooges in Final Fantasy VI, okay? But I was not ready to read that. Hi. Hello, housewife. You can die. The, you can die in the tutorial, by the way. As well as the treasure chest, there are always coins hidden under the grass. Oh, uh huh. Sounds familiar. Woman, not to be confused with housewife. The landscape of Dahlia Valley is very complicated. Great. There are monsters, too. It's not a place for a kid like you, even if you have a sword. Don't go there. Okay, gonna go there now. It's 
See, you've grown old enough to carry a sword, Dubs. Now, have you heard about the medals? No. Trinity Ground consists of in beginning, intermediate, and expert courses containing bronze. That's Those are not the medals that I expected him to be talking about. Collect and take them to the castle. The king will exchange them for the holy sword, the true sign of a hero. I'm sorry. This game's master sword is obtained on a loyalty point system? Like you take your you take your like punch card to the king and he's like, yep, checks out. Here's the sword of evil's bane. My sister's in Dahlia Valley. Her son is at the training ground. Everyone is in a dangerous place. <laughs> I can't go home. So I don't have the skill to throw the sword. Okay. This is, it's, it's early. Young man, take your sword. Now is the time to fight. I don't know if that's something that you just want to put on like a random fountain in town. Like, is it always time to fight when you read that sign? Also, is my health measured in apples? So it's early, but this is already giving me like near illusion of Gaia off the rails. Feelings. Long ago, there was an abominable. <sighs> yeah, sounds about right. People no longer visit. We must have peace with all creatures and bring harmony into people's hearts. Yep, wise man, old man, and wise man. Don't forget housewife and woman. You know, three years ago, I would have looked at this as a, as a personal affront, but now I'm good. castle up ahead. I'm waiting for Amo and I want to give him a send-off. Being a hero is every man's dream. Sure, Amo will be a great hero one day. Getting... Alright, Amon's gonna be one of two things. Dead really soon. Or the villain. Dubs, I think you should report to the king about your 14th birthday. D agree with you cannons hello warrior I used to practice my jumps near the lake north of Dahlia Valley but I'm scared to go there now it's the territory of a very hot tempered rabbit you try negotiating with him if you can talk to rabbits I 
I was like... I was gonna go for the Monty Python reference, but like it's right there and it's easy. You were all thinking it. Why are you in a wagon? Cow says moo. Rooster says cock. And, uh... <clears throat> I didn't want this. And Dog makes dated music references. <clears throat> well done, Emma. You have passed the trial. Here is your reward. That's a chonky boy. Thank you, Your Highness. This sword would be a great encouragement. Bruh, if it's like the holy sword of evil's bane, I don't think it's meant to be like a... I don't think it's meant to be a pat on the back. Your journey will be a long one, but ex I expect you to do well. Good luck. Okay. I'm not here. Dahlia Valley is a weird place where the monsters keep appearing. You should learn how to throw your sword at the training ground before you go. See, not Zelda. If it were Zelda, you would learn to throw a boomerang. No need for... Well, that's unexpected. No need for a separate piece of equipment when you can just throw the sword. How busy I am. Hey, boy, don't go near the fireplace. It's hot. I mean, what are we doing here? Okay. Uh, are those ears? Are those ears? <clears throat> Rafflesia is a... Rafflesia. Whatever. It's a training ground to become a hero. Train hard and well. That sword! You must be dubs! Yes, it's been a long time! Your father was so brave! He saved this town many times with that very sword! Anyway, you've come to report your first 14th birthday. I'll grant you the right to train at the training ground. Train hard, train well. <clears throat> The whole idea of you've turned 14, report it to the king, is wild. Like, I, I legit feel like I'm registering for the draft right now. Prison guard, no space. I, you know, I only meant to post the meme as a go live message for today because I know there's stuff that's kind of on hold and I keep throwing random stuff in the way. But it's also just a microcosm for what my entire channel is. <clears throat> so, hey, welcome to Crusader of Senti. No, I don't know what that means. It's the Genesis game from 94. And it's obviously meant to be a Zelda-like. This is a prison for monsters. We are using them for research. I think we should just waste that. Are we the baddies? We're the baddies, aren't we? Like... Like, how far into this do we have to go before we learn that we're the baddies? 
Is it like halfway through the game or like two thirds, like 80% of the way through the game before we join the monster's side for justice? Whoops. Yeah, that, uh, that hat suits you, by the way. So that's clearly a cross. But the, the cross is, like, below the middle, so is it upside down? Is that on purpose, or is it just like a royal, is it just like a royal seal kind of thing? Also, does that ball monster have a urinal? Oh, this is a squat toilet. This is, this is Sega. So it can be a cross. Can we use the toilet? Yes, but not in the way that I thought. I swear if we come out of there a different color. Pretend that that was not a brown splash. Ah! Wash it off! Wash it off! The smell! It seeped into everything! I... We have a good time here. <sighs> All right, so what I've gathered from this world so far is, um, it's basically like the Pokemon universe in that once you reach a certain age, it's time to get the hell out and go on an adventure. Only instead of 10, it's 14. And instead of go to these cities and have a fun time battling gym leaders in non-lethal combat with your new with your new friend. Um, oh. It is instead go to battle and die. Hi. You must be dubs. Received a message from the king. You may enter. Oh. Can we take a moment? Oh, I'm James. This is Crusader of Senti. Apparently a very rare Genesis game from 1994 that is pretty clearly attempting to ape Zelda. That's literally all I know about it. I'm playing it blind as I want to do with games on this. Um, so can we talk about the tree branches in the foreground on the left side of the screen and how they're parallax, but just barely in a way that looks really, really weird and unnatural? That's not how that works. That's like that. 
if the tree branches are here and they're right above me now, I should not have to walk this far away. Like, that's not, no. Hey, Dubs, did you, did you go to the plaza just west of Soleil? No. That's it, we're warriors, there's no time for us to, wait, there's play there? I'm the instructor, you know the purpose of this training ground, don't you? I think so, but tell me again. Then I will explain. Your goal is to finish all three courses. In each course, there is a treasure chest containing a bronze, silver, or gold medal. Collect all three. Read the signs and choose the best course for you. Uh... I'm an expert at sword throwing. You are very lucky, my boy. You can buy the sword throwing skill for just 20... Oh, you're broke. Come back when you got some hard cash, son! What does this music remind me of? This makes me think of... I really wanted to say Snowboard Kids, but this part doesn't sound like that at all. I can tell right now from the way this, the way this is, this is going to be a problem throughout the game. Where is the sword hitting? Also, GG on letting me cut grass for no reason. <laughs> Come try the intermediate course if you have the ability to jump. That would, that would sound ridiculous, except I currently don't. Oh God, even the hitbox on pickups is weird. to predict that this game is going to be jank fun. Okay. Oh. I see. There are some things in the game that you have to hit multiple times before you can move through them. That's good. That's, no, that's fine. La Mulana, where eventually I get a thing that lets me break objects in one swing. Oh god, cut the grass. Oh jeez. Alright, I'm gonna walk out in the middle of the grass and just see how much I can cut with one swing. Why? Why?
<laughs> Why would you make it like this? I will say one thing, like, just early on, immediately, right off the bat. By the way, James, you talk like a uh, either a programmer or a dev yourself. Whoa! I have to take damage again because... Did my character scream or was that just me? Oh, okay, that's what it was. Hi. You must be new here. Let me give you some advice. You must learn the running jump on your own. You can't learn it here. See means you can only complete the beginner's course. Let's take it easy. I mean, that's... Oh. Oh, okay. I like the... I like the space here. I really do. Good people here all around. Really, uh... I mean, honestly, it keeps me coming back. I mean, that and, you know, playing video games. Video games are good. Yeah, you can always be honest. I mean, with the, yeah, with the caveat of, like, remember the human and all, but, but, like, we welcome compliments and construct and constructive criticism alike here. You know, that means a lot, because we don't really, like... It's something we've... What? 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 Hold on, stuff is happening! Like, the Zelda meter just went up to 15. I guess we're good. Um, uh. So those are like crystal switches, I guess, but. Oh, interesting. All right, so we were talking about acceptance. I would say that, like, it's, it's definitely something we strive for, and I think the biggest trouble that we've run into as a community is, oh, you just go over the fence, okay, is dealing with acceptance of non-acceptance. Like, we've had people in the community that you know, nicely enough espouse some views that we don't all necessarily agree with. And I tend to take a pretty light touch to moderation. So it's difficult for me to just be like, it's always been difficult for me to like kick people out when they need to be kicked out because they're making other people uncomfortable. So it's been a, it's been a learning experience for me to know when like, you know, my go-to... Oh, okay, some of them don't break. 
my go-to being, you know, just kind of let people have their opinions and and don't bother them, and as long as... I guess we got a bronze medal. Anyway, it's a, it's something we've run into a lot because, you know, I, having grown up, I, having grown up conservative, um, am living proof to the idea that, like, if you just sit down and have these conversations with people, there is a chance that they will learn and grow, but you have to give them, what? Well, we do have 20 coins, but you have to give them, you know, that scaffolding to get there. I still believe that, but as the as the leader of a community where it's my responsibility to make sure that people feel safe and particularly, you know, marginalized and and persecuted people feel safe. It is not my job to give the people making them feel unsafe a microphone to feel unsafe in my space. And that's something that's been difficult for me. So it's always gratifying to hear someone come in and say that they feel that it is a safe and accepting and welcoming space. That was like way too, that was like way more background than I needed to go into here, but it's important to me. All right, limited time, 20 Boy, I hope these coins are called Malins. I'm worried the sword throw is gonna be one of those upgrades I regret. Me too, but if it is, it's literally the first one in the game other than your mom handing you a blade being like, get out to the battlefield. You're 14 now. It's time for you to learn about the real world. This game's just gonna be like this, isn't it? It's just, it's just, we talked to the, the like the fourth person we talked to in this game was a dog that said, bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, a. So we're just gonna do this now. This is just. Uh-huh. You guys, it's a sword spin. It's a spin. It's the input for a spin, but it's a throw instead of a spin. Okay. Okay, you can you can do some stuff. You can do some stuff. Okay. Oh. Oh, diagonal, diagonal is actually better for that. Splash the red switch to light the fuse. The fuse? What fuse? The fuse to what? Oh. That's what. Ugh, it doesn't even have any extra power. It's just a throw.
All right, so I feel like I'm supposed to go off like a different way here. Does it grab items? That's a great question. We should... Whoa! I'm sorry, I was not aware this was a pinball table. What is... All right. Experiment time. It does not grab items. Zero out of 10 works, worst sword meringue. Next question. Oh, that does work though. I don't know. Okay, that I don't hate that. Monster Crossing, be very, very careful. So we'll go over there. Oh, 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 oh. What's over here? Okay, bye. Oh, hold up. Wait, no, hold on. We got jams? I've heard this before. Why have I heard this before? Oh my God. levels of funk. Well, there doesn't appear to be anywhere I can really go from here, so. But at least we got a taste of combat. Yo! We'll come back to you. Yeah, I didn't... The town music and everything was fine, too. Like, it's been pretty good music, but that's the first one that made me like, okay, uh, wait, hold on. Everyone shut up for a second. Yeah, hey Jiggly, we just started. I am still just learning what this game is, and... I mean... Obviously, the, the aspect which is like, it's a Zelda clone is clear to see, but... Very, very clear to see. But it's got its own weird stuff and I kind of like it. So the plan is for this to be the next uh, retro breakdown game after uh, Riven. So I hope you're having as good a time with this as I am in the first hour. Cause probably gonna be seeing a lot more of it this week. Hmm. 
So when I went up there, it just took me out. I don't want to go out. I want to, like, continue to more stuff. Whoa. Wait, literally where? Why would you? Why would you have me exit this screen on the right and then have me enter into the next screen from the right but also obscure where I am? Because I'm obviously gonna think that I'm still walking to the right and by doing that I walk back to... Why would... Yeah, Tarn, and that, that makes sense, but they said there's supposed to be three, uh... Aw, James, thank you for the... Thank you for the another gift sub. Whoa. It's very much appreciated, but... As, uh... As longtime watchers know, uh, my next line is, you don't have to do that, you being here is enough. Like, not that it isn't appreciated, it absolutely is, just, you know. I always, uh... My whole thing is just like, make sure you're taking care of yourself before you're taking me- before you're taking care of me. But that's me, I came from a family of like overspenders, so. I overcorrect in the wrong way against that. Yes. What a wimp, I, okay. Yes. No, actually, I don't think I do know the purpose. I know the purpose of the training ground, but I don't think I know how it works. Finish all three courses, and each course is a treasure chest containing a bronze, silver, or gold medal. Collect all three, read the signs, choose the best course for you. So I, I got the bronze one. All right, so we got a dash jump, but we have neither a dash nor a jump at the moment. So we'll come back there later. Is this really just as an extended tutorial where they're introducing me to all of my, all of my like main moves one by one? Because I'll be honest, that's actually really cool. getting me and maybe I'm maybe I'm understanding it wrong oh I think I know exactly what I'm misunderstanding whoops okay allow me to explain for some reason
Your goal is to finish all three courses. In each course, there is a treasure chest containing a bronze, silver, or gold medal. Collect all three. My brain saw that and heard there is a bronze, silver, and gold medal in each course for a total of nine medals, three per course. So I'm like, okay, I got bronze, where's silver and gold? And it just now dawned on me that silver is on the second one and gold is on the third one. So we should probably leave. I just legit thought I was missing something. All right, do I bring the, do I bring the metal back to anyone or do I just have to keep going forward? Okay, everyone's talking about the plaza at the west end of the village. And I assume when they say rest, they mean gamble. Because I'm 14 and apparently can just whatever now. 